but over time I've kind of you know I'm I've got to look at what's the most practical way of doing anything when you're you know when you're on a time constraint um, because the customer is going to be paying for it and it's always going to be something a budget that's going to be you know, you've got to think about the budget at the end of the day um, because it could make the difference between the client going for it or not going for it. So I've always been looking at ways of, you know, how can we sharpen things up? So whilst I still use the mill and a, mill and a half hole punch, um, these days I use it a lot less because I just found that the, I'd been playing around with some, some metal work and getting some additional detail uh, with my, my Dremel and lots of you will have seen these. This is a bit of an investment. Um, I'd say go for the best powerful one that you can do. This is a Model 3000 Dremel. There are lots of different craft tools like this out there, so you don't specifically need to get that, uh, that one particular model but I just found it had the right level of power I wanted. The most important thing really was to get the, the make sure that you get one of the sets, if you're gonna go for this, because this will get used a lot, is to go for one of the sets that's got, um, that's got the flexible tube on it. So you've got a, a, a more detailed, small, uh, he says, more detailed, small sort of, you know, handheld for doing the detailed work, and again, it will come in useful in, in other ways when you're coming to finishing the edges of your leather. Um, you could use it to, to hold a plastic slicker. You could fit that to a drill. I mean, literally, I've just got a slicker wheel and uh, I think this used to be, it used to be a, a rivet setter, a small rivet setter. Um, and I just cut the end off drilled out the hole a little bit on the slicker wheel and hot glued that in. And that is, that's now uh, 12 years old, still lasting. Just goes into the chuck on a, on a drill and immediately you've got something that is going to help protect and finish the edges of your leather. But back to the Dremel, this, excuse the noise, um, will allow me, and again, minding the fingers, You can actually get, obviously, a drill press because there is always the small chance, he says, hoping that he's not going to drill straight through his finger. But quite literally, and you will get used to sort of the speed of using this. that to one side now drill holes